Hi guys, and happy post Valentine's Day. It's finally over. I have a very special opening, box opening, unboxing, that's what we call it. You'd think I'd know that by now. This, I don't know what it is. It is a gift, very kind gift from a very kind person, Devin Christopher. I will link his channel below. Yota and Winnie and I recently got together and got him this bag that he had told us that he really liked. It was one of these Longchamp extra small bags and you know how much I love those and Yota and Winnie have been loving them and we wanted Devin to have one, but he's been saving. Why am I telling you all of this right now? Let's do the intro and then tell you all the things. It's like I've never Never done a video before. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So I was saying, Devin has been saving for some several trips that he's planning to take this year. So we wanted him to really have the bag. It's a different bag from this, but it's the same style. It's just a different fabrics and colors and things. So we really wanted him to have that, but not for it to come out of his vacation money because we know how hard he's been working to save for that. And he has several, and by the sounds of it, it's gonna be expensive. So anyway, we just wanted to share the long shelf blue pliage extra small joy with him. So we did. And lo and behold, he sent us each a gift in return, which was totally unnecessary, but super sweet. We were not expecting it. And I know what Yota and Winnie's gifts are. They have shared those with me. At the point that I'm filming this video, I don't know if we're doing a collab with the three of us, but if we are, I will have their videos linked below. If we're not, well, I guess I won't, but they'll probably have posted it to their Instagram or something. So anyway, I know what their gifts are and they're very nice. So I am excited to see what I got. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I'm going to assume that it's the same kind of thing from the same brand because their items were both from the same brand and yes it is Woohoo! I'm excited I don't have anything from this brand and I'm really looking forward to it I'm gonna pull the, uh, the receipt off there so you don't have any personal information it comes in a really nice sturdy thick box white box and it says Brandon Blackwood, New York. I learned about Brandon Blackwood through Devin who has one of their bags. He has the SYL, I believe is the name of it, bag in the blue color. It kind of looks like the Prada nylon re-edition and I won't tell you what Yota and Winnie got because I don't want to spoil any surprises. But anyway, I learned about this designer through Devin from that video where he revealed his bag and I've been interested in it since and I also saw one of his bags on the Sex and the City reboot Charlotte had one of his bags so I thought that was cool and that gives a little bit of some street cred or something I don't know that that's the right term I'm looking for but you know what I mean it's a black owned business and I think Devin also said that he's gay. So if you wanna support some designers who aren't like your typical, or maybe this is more typical than I think, I don't know. I'm not really that familiar with who's designing things these days. I mean, it's certainly not Louis Vuitton and Coco Chanel anymore. Anyway, if you'd like to support a black LGBTQ designer, if that's important to you and you like their designs and the prices are very reasonable, this is a brand to look into and I will link them below. Now let's get into this. I am anxious to see what I got. We have to take a look first at the interior of this box. Ooh, it's a tiny little bag. I'm really enjoying tiny bags right now. So it says Brandon Blackwood in there. Oh, and of course, Obviously, they're out of New York. So if you're also looking for US-based designers, that's something to look for. There appears to be a card in here. Okay, this is from Bl Brandon Blackwood, I believe. The signature doesn't look like it says Devin Christopher. And this is a mass-produced card. It says, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your new piece. I can't wait to see how you style it. The bag is in here. That print reminds me of the Balenciaga print on the diagonal like that. There are lots of designers that have been doing it that way. So this has uh, some kind of cord as the drawstring. It's a cotton dust bag. It says Brandon Blackwood, New York. Open it up. Oh my gosh, how pretty. 
This is fancier than Yota and Winnie's bags. I must be special. Well, of course I am. I'm his favorite, he told me. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. It has this bamboo twist lock. Let me get it all undone and get a strap on it so you can see everything. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Devin, you've certainly outdone yourself. I've never seen one of their bags in person. I've been really curious about the quality. The size of this is perfect for me these days. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a bag laid out like this either. This thing gets more and more special the more I unbox of it. Oh, I'm going to show you guys in just a second. I'm getting all the plastic off. You guys, this thing is beautiful. I'm really impressed with this so far. All right, are you ready for this? You are not. You have no idea. Check this out. Is that not beautiful? It has two straps. It has this crossbody strap. I'll step back and model for you. So it looks like this. It goes really well with what I'm wearing today. Devin, you picked out a great color for me and the style is perfect for me too. This is definitely something I would be drawn to and would have picked out for myself. And you know what I love about it is that it does not have a top handle because those things just get in the way for me on bags like this, especially when there's a flap like this that folds back and then the top handle folds back and hits you like on the cocoa handle. So it has that crossbody strap and then obviously it has this chunky gold chain as well that I could wear on my shoulder. It's long enough to do that or I could just leave it hanging and if I wanted something even a little shorter that doesn't hang quite so low and is more decorative like maybe here or something I could get one of my chains from Dress Up Your Purse and that would look lovely too. This is a smooth like a box leather. I have to admit once I saw Winnie's bag. She was the first to get hers and show it to me and Yota. I went on the Brandon Blackwood website hoping that I was also getting one of those bags and I started looking at them and thinking which one might he get me and I had no idea and I found several that I'm interested in purchasing for myself including the one that Yota got. This one, the details on it are spectacular. Let me, let me take this crossbody strap off because it's going to get in the way as I'm showing it to you and then let me show you the details on this thing and give you a spin because there's more to see here than meets the eye. So there's the front of the bag. There's the side, you see how it's tucked in and the, that's so pretty, what a nice detail. The back with the seams on the flap, the other side, the front again, there's the bottom. We have four actual feet, which also they came with a cap on them to keep them protected and not get scratched, which is nice. And then, that's not good. And then on the top there are these two little D-ring things that you can attach your straps to. This detail, the little bamboo piece, it has little ridges in it. It is really, really pretty. And it says Brandon Blackwood engraved in it. I think that's, yeah, the only place where it says that on the bag. So if you know, you know. This is so cute because it's like, especially with the size of it, it's a cute little thing, but it's also really classy. It can work in a lot of different situations. The leather is so nice. So we turn the lock here. Let's take a look inside. We open her up and we have the leather continuing on the inside. And actually the entire thing is leather. On the back, there's a zippered pocket. On the front, there's a slip pocket. And then in the center, I've never seen this before. You guys let me know if you have. It's like there's a center divider, but it's not a center divider. It's just these two little, can you see? Can I hold the bag where you can see? It's like two little sangles and then they snap in the middle and you can unsnap them. And I guess if you need more room in the bag, I'm going to take the chain off too because it's making a little bit of noise and I know the camera picks that up pretty easily. don't want to bother anyone. So you can unsnap those and open it wider and I think yeah, even with it closed, you'd be able to have the sides out like that if you really needed to, I guess. So that's versatile. Oh, it does say Brendan Blackwood, New York, stamped in gold right there, but that's hidden under the flap, so you don't see that. And it's also debossed inside there. This zippered pocket in the back folds out if you need it to. The hardware is like an antiqued brass, and I'm going around looking at it in my lights, and I'm trying to figure out if this bag is gray or green. I can't quite tell. It's like a gray green. It's really pretty. It'll go with so much of my wardrobe. Mystery solved. It says this is the Bowen bag, green smooth leather. There you go. And I love it. I love all shades of green equally, not equally, but most shades of green equally. There we are. Devin, this is the perfect bag for me. Thank you so much. This is super, super thoughtful. Should I see what fits while we're doing this? Probably should. That way, if you're loving this bag as much as I am, you can 
run over to Brandon Blackwood's website with more information, pick one up. I'm carrying my heartbreaker bag today from Longchamp and from Emotionally Unavailable. This was my official Valentine's Day weekend handbag. So let's see, I've got it pretty stuffed. Let's see what fits or how it fits, because I think all of this is gonna fit in here. My Louis Vuitton Agenda PM, gonna keep those singly things snapped. My mini pochette, my Chanel flap card holder, my Tory Burch key pouch from Yota Style. Things are getting tight. I don't have the Tory Burch piece in yet. That takes up a lot of the room right there. I'm gonna undo the sangles. I'm calling them sangles. I don't know what they're really called. I'm gonna put my mini pochette in the back because it's a little bit bigger than the PM Agenda. Yeah, having those unsnapped allows me to have a little more space in there. So now I've got my Tory Burch, my card holder with medical cards. Stand that up. And that's it. Ooh. And that's everything that was in my heartbreaker bag and that closes easily. There we go. Cute, compact, wonderful, stylish, all the things. That looks fabulous. And it's a structured bag, but it's also soft, a little squishy, so it's kind of malleable, which is just the kind of thing that I like. I think somehow Devin knows the kinds of bags I like, because this is absolutely perfect. Look at this thing. I have to give you another spin. It's just too wonderful not to look at again. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm really impressed with this. I'm so glad to finally have a Brandon Blackwood bag as well. And stay tuned because I could very well be buying the one that Yota has. I like it a lot. And it has something to do with this diagonal print. That's part of what I like so much about the bag that she got. I can't tell you how pretty this bamboo piece is either. It's so detailed and beautiful. Thank you again, Devin. This is amazing. Was not expecting it at all. Wasn't expecting anything. You shouldn't have but thank you, I'm glad you did. I'm really blown away, my mind has exploded. I don't know what else to say, other than go check out Devin's channel, it'll be linked below, and please consider subscribing, he's wonderful. And his husband also has a channel, Kevin, so I'll link that channel below as well. I've seen a couple of cooking videos from him so far. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.